Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, May 9th. I'm James Spann. We think this will be the warmest day so far this month and the warmest since April 10th of this year when the high was 87. Let's go in there and take a look at some of the satellite shots, the uh, Skycam shots early this morning as we peek out the old window at 5 a.m. There's a look at downtown Fayette. All is quiet. Down south, that's a look at the Skycam in uh, Selma. That's the Edmund Pettus Bridge across the Alabama River. And hey, look at that evidence of daylight from the Skycam up in Huntsville. You know, uh, the uh, summer solstice is a little over a month away. Our greatest amount of daylight of the year. So nice to see a little light at this hour. Here's the uh, big picture. That old upper low is just meandering. It's approaching New York City this morning. That's the one that brought the cold and the set unsettled weather a few days ago. New system coming out of the uh, west is producing some convection out across the southern plains with thunderstorms this morning. We're starting off the day in the 50s, Birmingham at 56. Hey, we'll do mid-80s today. Should be the warmest day so far this month. But around the nation, we note that very cold air north of the U.S.-Canadian border. And we're going to catch some of that early next week as we'll be maybe flirting with record lows by Tuesday morning. Here's a watch warning map and uh, got some fog issues for some of the eastern states and out in Colorado. Winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories. But other than that, things are pretty quiet. Later today, storms will likely flare. To the north and west of here, there is a slight risk of severe weather over parts of Texas and Oklahoma and up north from St. Louis over to Indianapolis. Tomorrow, slight risk of severe weather. Again, over parts of Texas and up north from near Cincinnati over into Pennsylvania. And on day three, which is Saturday, no formal risks, just low-end 5% possibilities over the southern tip of Texas and over parts of the mid to upper Atlantic coast. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through uh, Tuesday morning of next week. And this is suggesting rain amounts of about one inch. I'm not so sure we get that much. I think the totals will be closer to one half inch, but clearly we'll have some rain at times tomorrow and Saturday. Let's look at modeling the GFS, the OZ run valid at one o'clock local time today at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up. Upper low is over New York. Now, troughing back in the southwest and down below that, the day should be basically warm and dry with mid-80s. Both the NAM and the GFS are at 85. We'll check the high-res NAM. This is valid at 7 o'clock local time this evening. And if you look carefully, there's a couple of specks up there in northeast Alabama. And like yesterday, there could be a few isolated showers up there, but just about everybody stays dry. Of course, we note that big MCS over the Arklatex around Shreveport. This is tomorrow at 1 o'clock local time. Ooh, look at the band of showers moving in off the GFS. It's even suggesting we might need to mention rain uh, as early as tomorrow morning. Uh, this is the high-res NAM, valid at 1 o'clock local time tomorrow afternoon. It's a little slower than GFS. It's got the rain moving in here about midday with uh, maybe some decent downpours over northwest Alabama. And clearly there could be some thunder tomorrow, but severe weather is not likely at all. But we'll mention a good chance of showers and maybe some thunder by especially tomorrow afternoon, maybe tomorrow morning in West Alabama. All right, weekend fans, let's take a look. This is Saturday. And you can see how uh, we've got an upper low developing north of the Great Lakes. And the southwest system is drifting south down into uh, the Gulf of California. Uh, but the extension of that northern uh, system should push a cold front down this way. There's a look at the... Uh, Surface chart will have a chance of showers and maybe some thunder. Rain probably not all that heavy. And uh, here's the high-res NAM, valid at 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. And it looks pretty wet. So uh, like we've talked about for days, if you're planning something outdoors Saturday, will it rain all day? No. Will it rain? Yes. Could there be thunder? Yes. Will there be severe weather? No. Uh, so just periods of rain and some thunder, make plans accordingly. Uh, the high Saturday will drop into the 70s because of the uh, clouds and showers. And then Sunday, 
The big old trough begins to form over the east, and we are in cool, dry air. Uh, the high will drop into the low to mid-70s, a fresh north breeze. Low humidity should be a bright, sunny day on Sunday. Monday, it's going to be a cold morning. We go for the 40s. And Tuesday, pretty much the same thing. And, you know, come on, we're, we're supposed to be hot and muggy now, basically, here in mid-May. So getting a, a nice, refreshing continental air mass like this with the temperatures near record levels, hey, we'll do anything for this in August. You know that. Uh, there's a look at modeling on the temperatures, and you can see those three mornings that are going to be pretty cold early next week, especially Monday and Tuesday with lows in the 40s. Uh, the, the coldest morning, probably Tuesday morning, with most uh, guidance getting us down there in the low to mid 40s, right at record levels for this time of the year. Here's Wednesday of next week. We'll start to warm up. We'll be back uh, probably in the low 80s and a week from today. Uh, suggesting moisture trying to come back, and there could be some showers toward the end of next week, perhaps around uh, uh, Friday, May 17th. Go out there toward the end of the month. Uh-oh, first time we've seen this. Very deep uh, upper system over the nation's heartland. Surface low at St. Louis, and that would be a severe weather look. That's the first time we've seen one of these in a long, long time. But this is purely in the land of voodoo. This is May 24th. And we all know that could be long gone on the next run, but something to watch in coming days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the uh, blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Full details on the blog, alabamawx.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.